Hello YouTube, it's Keely. I'm here today because I wanted to actually do a weight loss video, but I ended up eating a sausage breakfast burrito this morning. So I really felt like a hypocrite telling you guys how much weight I've lost and how easy it is when I couldn't even get it together for breakfast. So I decided to skip that and instead to do a video on something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I actually got my first question about one of the products that I use on my face. So I wanted to kind of do an overview of my favorite products right now. Um, I didn't get all of these this, these products this month, but I've gotten them in the past few months, so they are relatively new, so you should be able to find all of these items um, at you know online or in the store. So I got a question about my eyeliner, and all the videos I've made so far, I'm wearing the exact same eyeliner in every video because I found the holy grail of eyeliners. I found, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can tell, I'm still quite ill. Um, I found the best eyeliner in the world. It has changed my eyeliner game like you would not believe. Um, I am overweight, as you can obviously tell. Um, so I don't know if my eyes didn't get the memo, but they just produce so much tears. Maybe I'm just crying all the time because I'm so sad and I just don't realize it. But for some reason, my eyes are extremely watery. So every time I put on eyeliner, even if it's waterproof, it just bleh, smudges off, runs down my face. I get that look like, you know, I've been out in the sun all day when in actuality I just finished getting ready. So it just looks terrible half the time. I've never found an eyeliner that I truly, truly like, and I'm not good at applying eyeliner. So not only have I not found a good product, I haven't been able to apply it properly because it just ends up smudging off. So as you all know, I'm a subscriber to Birchbox, which I absolutely love, and I think it's totally worth it because without Birchbox, two of these products I would have never even discovered. So. Thank you so much, Birchbox. Um, and the first one is the eyeliner. This eyeliner um, has really changed the way I even do my eyeliner. Before, I always saw the cat eye eyeliner and I thought, oh, that is so cute. I wish I could do that. But my pencil liner, it would end up looking like, I mean, it was terrible. I look like insane clown posse. It was awful. So when I got this, I tried out the cat liner did it like that super easy to do really fast and it stayed on for two days i know you guys are thinking that is disgusting doesn't she wash her face and the answer is no i mean i do sometimes but i try to but i don't always get to it and it was over a weekend so quit judging me so this eyeliner lasted two days my cat eye looked legit two days later i have to be honest the best eyeliner i've ever used it's called ico ico london i believe um, I know people on YouTube do this. Oh yeah, it does work. No wonder they do it. So yeah, this is the eyeliner. It's Ico London. It's a skinny liquid eyeliner in black. They have other colors, but when I got my birch box, I was so happy I got black because black is classic. You can wear it, you know, anytime. And I have green eyes, so the purple probably would have looked good, but I really am glad I got the black. So... <clears throat> You can buy this online at Sephora for $15. I'm going to buy two more <laughs> through Birchbox because I get free shipping as soon as I get enough points. So, like I said, I'm poor, so i got to finagle it any way I can. And I'm going to use my points to get it. But if you can get this, get it. It's the best liquid eyeliner ever. And I know some of you are probably afraid of liquid eyeliners. I was because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but it's so super easy to put on. Let me show you the tip. Um, I'm going to do this thing again. Yeah, it works. <laughs> See how pointy it is? I mean, yeah, you could totally kill yourself, but it's it looks nice. I actually have it on today. I didn't do a very good job because, like I said, I'm still sick. But it's real easy to apply, and um, all I do is I just hold my lashes down <laughs> and then put it on because my lashes curl naturally. So this, you know, I usually have always had a hard time, but I found a trick to where if I hold my lashes down and put it on at the same time, I'm, I'm good. Ico London, best eyeliner ever, ever. Um, another thing I got in my birch box last month, <coughs> excuse me, is something I wasn't really excited to try because, let's just be honest, I'm lazy, as you can tell. I mean, I don't take care of a lot of stuff in my life, including my skin, and I really should 
because the Clinique lady said, I have super bad skin and I'm dry and I need to take care of it. And she suckered me into buying the whole Clinique clarifying lotion at Christmas time. It was like $90, ridiculous. But I got suckered in and it didn't even work for me. So I've, I've been on an eternal search to find a facial cleanser that smells good, that won't make me break out, that doesn't burn my eyeballs off, and that will take off my eye makeup. Well, Birchbox, being awesome, sent me a facial cleanser with my last month's Birchbox, and I tried it a few times, didn't really see a difference, so I was thinking, maybe it's just my skin. I'm just, a tr I'm just destined to have bad skin. And I know you really can't tell from the video, but I, I don't have perfect skin at all. I have um, hormonal acne, because I have an IUD, T TMI probably, but... Um, hormonal acne is the worst because not a lot of stuff treats it. You just have to eat right, not be fat, and try not to ovulate. So, can't really do too much about it. But they sent me this. <laughs> DDF. That yeah, doesn't really work with this one. DDF Brightening Cleanser. It's all gone. I used the shit out of this. I had it for about a month and I used this entire thing. So, maybe I have a problem with too much product use. But DDF Brightening Cleanser... Um, it has all kinds of good stuff in it. It has alpha hydroxy acid, which um, if any of you know anything about skincare, it's really, really good for your skin. It kind of takes off the first layer of skin and promotes skin renewal. So I thought that's a bunch of garbage. That's not really going to work for me, but I tried it. And after like the third use, I noticed that my skin was super bright, um, almost as if I had just had a facial. So I'm not ballin or anything i've only had like one facial my whole life but after my facial my skin was so white <clears throat> it looked like i had been born again like new skin like i had shed my snake skin and i emerged this beautiful butterfly anyhow so i tried this and it worked great my skin looked awesome it didn't get rid of my acne nothing can i'm in control of that and i obviously don't give a shit so I'm just going to let my acne go, but this really did make my cheeks bright, my forehead shine. I mean, this has been a great cleanser, and I am going to purchase this, but they're out of stock right now through Birchbox. But if you go to their website, I believe you can buy it directly from them. It's kind of pricey, but it is great. <clears throat> and I know not all skincares are created equal, and this might not work for you, especially if you have darker complexion. But if you're totally white like me, and you have a problem with dead, dull skin just sitting on your face, and you look dull all the time... This will brighten you up. Um, it has, like I said, um, alpha hydroxy in it, so it might tingle a little bit. It smells like black licorice, which I don't mind, but some people might. So um, that's just another product that I'm loving right now besides the eyeliner. Okay, I only I have like four more, but this is out of control, eight minutes. So I'm going to try to cut it down and only do two more. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is this little kit of primers that I got from Sephora. Now, you guys know from my previous video how I feel about primers. They're a must. You have to have it. If you don't, you're dumb. Your makeup's just going to come off. It's a waste of money. So <clears throat> I always thought primers were, were just a gimmick until I tried a few of these products. And um, Sephora actually had this little kit last month. I, don't know if they have it still, but if they do, you should buy it. It's $9. I think it was like $9.99, and you get all three primers. It's the Tarte Primer um, combo. You get three primers. You get two for the face and one for the eyes. The one for the eyes is probably the most amazing thing I've ever used. It stays on your face. If you spend a lot of money on eyeshadow and you spend a lot of time putting your eyeshadow on, you're going to want to use an eye primer, and this is the best one I've ever used. It's the <laughs> It's the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Primer. You can get it at Sephora. You can get it in the kit. You can probably get it from their website. Go and get it. It's bomb. I'm like so ancient. Who says bomb? Like, come on, Keely, you're ridiculous. Um, these two are the face ones. This one, um, the brightening primer, is more like a liquid. It's not a primer consistency, which shocked me, but I loved it. It really did brighten up my skin. It's got a little bit of a shimmer. Um, I'm a super bum and I use like all of it already but you can't even really I would squirt some out but I think it's all gone that's how good it is I use the crap out of it um and then this one clean slate poreless um poreless my ass I'm always gonna have pores you're not gonna wow me with these words it's not even true um but this one actually did a pretty good job um it did better than the Smashbox primer that I had and it did a lot better than the MAC primer that I've used so this one is also good you get the trio for nine bucks <clears throat> If you're looking to try a new primer, 
besides the monostat gel that I suggested and you're willing to go to Sephora, drop nine bucks, go and get it. Um, I only have one more thing I want to talk about because this little tip that I learned from another YouTube user really kind of changed my life a little bit because um, I have dry skin, like I've said before. I have horrible skin. It's oily, dry, wet. It's just gross. It does whatever it wants on any given day, but I get really, really dry in the wintertime. So winter's coming up. <clears throat> I live in California, so I don't really have like a harsh winter. So I mean, when I say winter, I mean it's going to be like 60. So, but my skin will, will dry out. So I learned this little trick. And um, if you want to keep your skin glowing and mo looking moisturized throughout the day, because um, I like to have my skin look dewy. That's the kind of look that I like to go for. A lot of women like the matte look, but I like the dewy look. And in order to get that and kind of keep it all day without having to um, like go and wash my face and re-moisturize, I carry this little bottle of a little concoction that I made. Now it's in a Melvita rose water bottle, but you can use any spray bottle. The reason I use this one is because it still has that rose scent, which I love, and it was a face spray. <clears throat> Initially, I got this in my birch box, and I fell in love with it, but I couldn't afford it. It was like some godly amount of money. But looking through the ingredients, it has glycerin in it, <clears throat> and glycerin is used in a lot of beauty products, like tons and tons of beauty products. So if you get a beauty product using shampoos, I mean, just like look at the labels. If it has glycerin in it, you can probably make it at home. Oh, God, it smells so good. The Melvita Rose Water, actually, this was another product that I love, but I used it already and I can't afford to rebuy it, but this product is awesome. But if you wanna make your own rose water, um, <clears throat> I learned a little trick. What you do is you go and you buy some glycerin, pure glycerin from CVS or from Walmart or wherever you have, wherever you are, go buy some pure glycerin. It's what's used in soaps too. So it, it acts as a, um, as a skin protectant. So what I do is I mix a little bit of this um, with some water and that's it. Just pure water. I have purified water through my fridge, so I just fill it up. Add um, some glycerin. So it's three parts water per one part glycerin. So you just fill up your little bottle with some water and some glycerin, and you just squirt it on. I mean, you look like crazy, but it feels so good. It feels good. And it'll keep your skin moisturized throughout the day. And then I also do it before and after I put on my makeup. So before I put on my makeup, I do a little spritz. After my makeup, I do a little spritz and then throughout the day. And then at night before I go to bed, um, I do a combination of this with some other stuff. I want to do a skincare video too. Like I said, I don't really take that great a care of my skin, but there are some things that I do that help me stay moisturized. So I think that's it. This is the longest video to date. Yay. Everyone's going to kill me. Sorry. I know it's horrible. They're going to get shorter. They probably won't get shorter. Um, but that's my product reviews I'm loving right now. There are a couple more products that I absolutely love. I just don't have time to talk about them in this video. So maybe I'll separate them up by nails, nail care stuff, stuff like that. If you guys want, if you want me to, if you don't want me to, if you don't like this kind of thing, let me know. And then I'll just scrap it and we'll move on to something else. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. And who, those who have subscribed already, thank you so much. It means the world to me and you all are hilarious. Thank you for the comments. Um, again, please feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions for me, just let me know. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.